stuff. So it was definitely a great week in, in college oh, yes. football. A lot going um, on. All the top four teams won, so it gives uh, what the what the college football ranking committee says more credibility to be in those spots, in those top four spots. So we'll see how it all unfolds here uh, on New Year's Day yeah. when all these teams start playing. You know, TCU so. and Baylor not too happy with the top four yeah, with no Ohio doubt. State in there. There's so. no doubt. TCU and Baylor had uh, had a lot of potential there. Oh yeah. Still, still think they could have gone uh, there. That's just my opinion, though. But yep. we'll see how it all works out with Alabama, especially. That's Actually, That's right. The local team in this case that we're going to be covering. For sure. All right. We will be right back after this break. Um, in my room on Saturday morning. Got on it. the wall? I was about to say. You know, Chastity, we were talking earlier about cooler temperatures. It's not really feeling like Christmas yet. I, and I told Michael just to wait until Wednesday morning when it's 35 degrees, and then we'll see what he has to say about that <laughs> because it's going to feel a lot more like the holidays this week. This is where we're supposed to be with our temperatures for this time of year. So going to feel cooler, going to be comfortable, going to be chilly some nights. So be prepared for that, Michael. I'm excited. I'll be it. wearing my jacket. I'm yeah. looking forward to the cooler weather. Get you in the Christmas spirit or Absolutely. the holiday spirit. Absolutely. And Definitely. hey, if you haven't checked out the lights over at Bay Bears Stadium, yeah. Hickerin Stadium, go do so. They're wonderful. No doubt. We'll see you later. Have a good night.